everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another My Little Pony magazine showcase video. So this is um, the one I'm doing in January, February, March, April. So we're in April, so it's my fourth video in the series and I have four issues to show you. All are from 1990 um, and it's the June issue and then September, October and November. So some of them do not look as good like quality wise, but I'm sure we can still enjoy the beautiful pony pictures. So let's get started. So here we are. Let's start with the July issue. I think in the beginning I thought it said uh, June, but it's actually July uh, issue of 1990. And like this is actually the first um, of the magazines that does not have this square image at the front but like the whole magazine the whole magazine front is like one picture uh, but which of course still got the same um, lettering and everything my clients pony does kunterbunte pony magazine so disclaimer all the magazines that I show are in German because I'm from Germany that's what I can get hold of, but of course I'm talking in English and um, everything will be in English in this video, but just everything that you read is going to be German. At the front we can see it's a very matching for the summer issue, um, a beautiful beach and parasol is actually lying there under a parasol, like how fitting. <laughs> and we've got like, this is like the main first comic of this issue, like the adventure uh, ship here. The adventure ship that's what the comic is called the first one we've got spike here and let's start because it right like right away starts with um the comic with we've got like as i said parasol i think the main pony that we can always see here yeah that's meant to be a wizard which is actually not the correct hair color because like wizard has got these uh, like bluish toned colors and no red and but but it's supposed to be wither, you know <laughs> uh, With these magazines oftentimes we have like not the super correct coloring and we've got um, Gusty and baby Gusty uh, This is I think meant to be baby um, Baby cotton candy and of course spike and it's about the king the mer like I don't know the mermaid king uh, who has got a a banana tree that grants wishes so it's like kind of a crazy story I read through it and I was like huh? uh, but okay then because they get to this land of I don't know a king that has all of these spikes it's like it's like crazy but I mean who has got a banana tree that can grant wishes you know <laughs> um, So there they are again. This is actually a pretty cute image where like the ship is able to fly and they've got flying fishes and wizard who is a pegasus pony um, also helps to um, be able to make, make the ship fly and Gusty and baby Gusty they blow so, so that the ship can fly. This is interesting here. This is actually like um, um, I wouldn't say advertisement because it's more like they inform you about the new pony club which was back then like in Germany uh, available the pony mummy club uh, with like, who, like they are. You, you get posts you get birthday wishes all, all that stuff you get the first info for new ponies everything is written here so uh, and you can become the pony mummy club princess stuff like that and here you can actually cut it out send it in and become a member of the pony mummy club I mean you could, you can't anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, one of my favorite pages always of the magazines, this um, like who lives in Ponyland, where they always feature one, like one pony set that was really popular, really um, like new at that point. And here we've got the Dance and Prance ponies. Um, so let's get some of them out. Not all of them, <laughs> because um, actually they always just feature here on the on the pages just four. But this set also in Germany was released with six ponies. Um, actually, in in, um, in German they are called disco ponies, and their names are quite like some of them are pretty similar, and some are like really different. Um, 
for example, this pony here, uh, with a very unique color of like super, like, I don't know, greeny um, yellow with a green hair, it's Swinger, and also in German he's called Swing, but for example, this blue pony here, uh, in German, he, uh, she's got uh, called Fox, like, this is like a, you know, it's like a music style, dance style, but like in English, uh, the name is DJ, so that's that's a, quite a, a difference. Um, or here, this pony, uh, in English it's called a tap dancer, which totally makes sense with this cutie mark here. Uh, in, in, in German it's, called, uh, it's just called twister, so like twist, but yeah, I love those ponies, they have this pretty amazing uh, feature of being able to spin their tails and then dance if you would do it like really fast and they would like dance around I love them they have all almost the same poses just some of them have horns and some not really nice how, how they made them like even as if they were um, twinkle with the stars in the background here very nice Ah, that, that is also interesting. Here we've got like two advertisements. Uh, the lower one is just actually for a play set. It's a pony bed. Um, the pony here is actually not included. This is mm, Daddy Sweet Celebrations. <laughs> I love how they dressed him up like with these fuzzy, fuzzy shoes here, these, these house uh, slippers. And then this sleeping hat like so damn cute. I mean, I love that they took the daddy pony for this. Um, up here we've got two uh, unique ponies. I mean, unique, I mean, um, I think they were both uh, Euro exclusive ponies that came with a um, kind of playset. I don't want to say playset because it's more like accessories. This is a uh, Rosette or in German Rosetta and this is um, Sweet Clover or in German Kleeblatt or Kleeblattchen, Kleeblatt I think. Um, like this is a pony uh, that is meant to be like on a, on a tournament, you know, it's a prize day set that was released with it, like like a jumping tournament and like he's, she's the winner and uh, this is like a picnic themed pony. So you've got a pic picnic blanket and like uh, like plates and you know, this, this little picnic basket and stuff like that. Both ponies actually have a German variant. Uh, clover here, sweet clover. Uh, this is the German variant. It's very peachy pale. The um, UK variant is, is a strong, um, I don't know, uh, what, what, uh, like maybe um, strong salmony color, maybe more like this guitar here in the background. Um, with uh, Rosette, uh, actually the, the variant is just that the German pony has very little um, yellow in its hair. I think this is the one, you can't even see that that well because it's the um, curly hair version here um, and the UK variant would have a bigger yellow streak in its hair. I don't have any of them, I can't show you any of them. Here we've got a lovely story about one of the baby sea ponies and um, baby cotton candy and baby um, blossom. Very lovely pastel themed <laughs> and even more ponies here. Um, some of those that I like we have in, in the past magazines a lot like heart throb and confetti um, this is medley and here we've got of course no pony magazine <laughs> goes uh, without having majesty in it so we've got majesty and Hootsie and Cherry's Jubilee and Applejack all those ponies having a nice little picnic at the beach here we've got advertisement for a Dumbo uh, Disney magazine and here's a story, I think, yeah, the main pony here is uh, Hopscotch. Where's Hopscotch? Oh, my Hopscotch actually really needs a pony spa day. The hair doesn't look that great. I got Hopscotch like a couple of years ago now when I didn't know how to treat pony hair that well. So Hopscotch definitely needs a pony spa, but uh, Hopscotch looks pretty dark in these pictures here. Oh, the other pony is actually baby uh, Tiddly Wigs. Here we've got her and I, it seems they they go on an adventure like to go to a castle with a uh, dragon on a flying pillow I mean these comics sometimes I mean they are meant for little children of course but sometimes they are so strange 
Um, yeah, and then I meet this princess here. Actually, this is the dream castle, so they are in the dream castle again. And for some reason, Spike is angry. No idea. But the coloring is really off again, like it really looks different. But you can see from the symbol that this is hopscotch because it's kind of hopscotch <laughs> as the symbol. What else do we have here? Oh, this was like the giveaway of the magazine. You could win. Um, they gave away a hundred of these beautiful um, merry-go-round ponies. Let's let's get them out because I have all four of them. Because these are actually the four um, of the merry-go-round ponies in German called uh, Festtags ponies that were released in Europe. Um, the set consisted just of four ponies over here. So, and I don't think that I have showed off um, flower bouquet yet in a video with my uh, like with the rehaired uh, beautiful pink hair. She, I got her with very like very uh, thin and very frizzy uh, white hair. Now she's beautiful again. Yeah, you could win them. Oh, that's also a lovely like page with like so beautiful colorful advertisement here. Here again we've got the um, Dancer Friends ponies. Let's get those out here. And actually on, on these photo, on the, uh, actually this photo you can definitely see with how many different accessories they came. Yeah, They came with like like fuzzy scarves, like a, like a boa around the neck, with earrings, with uh, hair clips. I have, actually this is their original hair clip here. Um, but with barrettes, with like um, like these meshy um, ribbons, all that stuff, and you have, like rarely find them with these. So this is the four that are shown on the picture. I really love their colors, so they are beautiful, and they did a really good job with this with this uh, photo there because it's so colorful, it shows confetti and um, it actually looks like New Year's Eve anyways because of this this thing here. This is all so cute. These are the newborn ponies. A um, set of the normal newborn ponies and it looks like they, they laid out Smarties here. I mean the European Smarties, not the US Smarties, they are different. And with the ducky combs and I mean they are so cute. Here they are. I just love them. And although they are a set of really like common ponies, you find them all the time. Um, but apparently children love them, that's why you find them so often. And I definitely I, I actually had done a photo shooting with the six of them with a very nice uh, similar color background. Here we've got a story that starts with uh, Chief. The only, like not the only, but one of the um, big brother ponies that I'm still missing, can't show, show to you. Um, and But some of the others, here's also um, Salty, we've got Steamer and, and Wigwam. And um, yeah, Chief is going here uh, by, passing by the Lullaby Nursery. This building actually is an existing pony place set in Lullaby Nursery. And yeah, you can then open it up and it's like, Haya Popaya Babystube in German. We've got Sweet Tooth here. And some of, I think this is Baby um, Bouncy, some of the newborn twins. So, I don't know what they are doing. I think they, the, the newborn babies are like in trouble again. And oh yeah, here is uh, Baby Quackers, all like muddy and then uh, Chief is getting out his like uh, like water supply, <laughs> helping baby Quackers to get uh, clean again. I know it's probably a story about Chief like going everywhere and helping. Here we've got the Apple Light family. Yeah, but that's that's the Apple Light family. I mean, their their colors look pretty different. You know, here we've got Mummy Apple Delight and. Daddy Apple Delight, uh, they look pretty different to what they are pictured here. Um, but like this, they also would look uh, beautiful. 
Do we have the children in one of the next pages? Yeah, here is uh, the brother and the sister, which I still uh, do not have the correct color. I just have the sister in this like hair color, which is like a rehaired one, but not, not rehaired by me. I got her like this. But uh, the sister is uh, on the way with the correct hair color. But don't they look nice? I love them. And here, steamer with his train. <laughs> I'm sometimes wondering how the ponies get, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's just like a children's comic, but how is the pony supposed to drive in that car? Like, how does it work? Uh, anyways, okay, here's another advertisement for Wendy. We often have that because it's from the same publisher. Wendy is a like magazine about horses. I love that as a child, so always happy to get reminded of Wendy. Okay, and here is one of the famous last pages that we always have um, of the uh, children that sent in their, their paintings and their letters and you can find a pen pals here, stuff like that. Uh, this is a baby sea pony. I think it's a sea star. I can't remember that name because it's the very famous color combination. We've got lots of ponies in this color combination with a yellow body and um, and uh, purple hair like for example Lemon Drop, we've got Music Time, we've got like one of the princess ponies you know, there and, and more. Uh, so yeah and here was the horseshoe point that you could cut out and the last very last page shows actually the next magazine which I don't have. I don't have the August issue but this is one of the uh, Russian Grove ponies but like the color again is like pretty different to what she actually looks because I think it's, it's braided beauty and uh, you can see that from the symbol it's this braided um, like hair um, ponytail whatever and she looks very much different like color wise skip one issue that I don't have and get to the September issue. So here we are, September of 1990 <laughs> and it says uh, a rainy day in Ponyland and the cover actually shows Posy and Sprinkles. Uh, Sprinkles is a playset pony that came with the um, water, whoa, what is it actually called? Is it called Rainbow Waterfall? Is it just called Waterfall uh, playset? I don't have that one, but yeah, the first uh, comic here is about sprinkles. And the interesting thing to note is that this is actually, again, it's not the color that Sprinkles uh, was released in. I mean, the story also is here we've got Posy. Oh, today I took out my white hair Posy. Um, this is faded. Actually, Posy is supposed to have like pink tulips and pink hair, as here. And um, actually, Sprinkles is supposed to look a little bit more like this. I mean, this is um, Firefly, but it's actually then released also in a very light pink body color with this kind of blue hair. And actually, also the same pose. So that's why I took Firefly out. Um, that's really interesting. Actually, this is Duck Soup the little ducky that came with also with the sprinkles and the waterfall playset. And it's like a rainy day and then of course what comes when the sun comes out and the rain, it's like a rainbow and like rainbows. That's, that's one of the main themes for ponies. <laughs> and all of the other animals are here that you got with the playsets, so Twinkles and the two different versions. Um, Brandy, I think he was also released in different versions, so that makes sense. Here we've got the um, Pony Mummy Club uh, thing again. Oh, and this time it's cut out. So someone sent it in and became member of the Pony Mummy Club. That's that's great. Oh, and I mean, yeah, of course, they sacrificed part of the magazine for that. Actually, they cut they cut away. Um, Poisonberry pie because this is the who lives in Ponyland for these sweet berry ponies because here this this would be here uh, in German Bombier okay I didn't know the German names for these this is um, poisonberry pie 
then we have um, strawberry surprise this is like oh my goodness this is the pony that has the strongest sweet scent still of the ones that I have and whenever I take her out of my shelf she's like a whole room smells like like her then here we've got cherry treats and she also smells nice again this is raspberry uh, jam so these are the four ponies of the Sweetberry ponies that were released in, in, in Germany and in Europe. So these are the ones that are featured here. Um, Himbeere, Herzkirsche, Erdbeermund and Brombeere. Lovely. Uh, I think my... No, she doesn't smell anymore, but the others still smell a little bit. Tiny little bit, a little bit more, smells a lot. <laughs> So the other two ponies from this set, um, which are uh, which are uh, cranberry muffins and blueberry pie, they never got a release over here, and they are very thought after and very rare and expensive. <laughs> I love those ponies since I have them. I was never interested in that pony set actually because I think their colors they they do not really match. But when you have them together, they are so unique as a set that I, I really felt, I like fell in love with them. And it, it doesn't stop here. We've got another beautiful uh, pony set and another one. These are all the ponies. I, I love those. I mean, the magazine's from 1990, yeah. So that means we're in the release of 19, like around 1988, 90 to, uh, I don't know. As we have already discovered in the last magazine, in German, they, they probably were released even later. Um, these are the uh, sunshine ponies. These ponies have this, the white hair streaks that would change to pink in the sunlight, so with UV light. And um, it's just a, like so sad that this kind of hair, that the hair quality like gets so bad. So I you rarely see one of the sunshine ponies with like really good hair so but they are such a lovely pony set and you know what again it's a pony set where just four of the ponies were released over here in Europe so you never see the two missing ones but like if you have those already together it's like such a lovely set uh, summary Lovely, like sand digger, uh, beach ball, wave runner, and mainsail. And it doesn't stop with the beautiful pony sets because here are the sweetheart sister ponies. So the first set that really is just called sweetheart sister ponies, the ones with the flower symbols, and German also called Blumenglück ponies. Um, and guess what? Another set where just four of the six ponies were released over here. These are the four. I actually, yeah, I, I just have three of them. Um, um, really into the sweetheart sister ponies at the moment so I actually I was actually about to buy this one on eBay Kleinanzeigen but the seller like never replied like for over a week now so I guess nope <laughs> but that's actually pretty interesting can you see here that on the photo this one also looks pretty pink well, she's actually very uh, purple. It's like, I always mix it up. Is this spring song or is this spring song? I I don't know, I can never really remember those names. Uh, this is Dainty, and one of them is spring song. But they are so lovely. And yeah, it is also a pony set from 90, so, so from year seven. And they made a beautiful array. I really like how they always lay out their um, combs and brushes here. But let's get to the next page. We've got um, a, um, a comic again. Here we actually see Princess Royal Blue with her dragon. So in the UK they came with these differently different colored dragons. This one's called Smokey. And 
I love that this is a comic that's really pastel, like from, from the way uh, it's colored in. So it's really pastel and Princess Royal Blue looks lovely. Um, and here you can also see that the symbols, so these metallic symbols also meant to be uh, colored. So mine here is in really good condition and still has also like a pink, a tint of pink. Concerning the hat, I think this is the original hat to her, but in a different country releases they also came with different colored princess hats so the damsel hat in the UK probably was purple because these um, magazine comics uh, were made in the UK they help a farmer here with they, ha they have a problem with a giant who also wants to settle on their land and she is like dividing it helping them Oh, this is so cute. This is like, you know, a story as you can see. It's not a comic, but the upper part. Is this cute? This is like a huge rainbow and we've got one of the summer wing ponies, or in German Schmetterlings uh, ponies, which have, I have none of them. Um, they have different wings than, of course, than uh, normal Pegasus ponies and also different wings than, than um, the Flutter ponies. They have really attached but like plasticky uh, wings that look like butterfly wings and they are very expensive and I'm kind of really frustrated right now with them because I never win an auction for them. I I've, like really my like money, like let's say my, my price range is like too low for getting one of them. So I don't know. I'm really not into like buying them for right now. It's like really frustrating me to even think about it, but still beautiful ponies. And actually here we've got some flutter ponies. Um, yeah, this is actually Tropical Breeze. She is. And this is, here you can, here you can see also Wing Song and Tropical Breeze. They have so nice colors. And the story is like about, again, that lullaby nursery. And for some reason, Gusty is always like the nurse for the baby ponies. So these are again two of the twins. I always mix up their names. Uh, these are Sniffles and Snookums, I think, are these. Let's see what happens to them. They're just mischievous and don't want to sleep. That's that's and that's what they do and. Tropical Breeze actually called some colibris. Are they called colibris in English? Those beautiful tropical birds. Um, and they help to, to make, like, get them to sleep. That's, that's what the story is about. And here in this magazine, you were able to win the uh, pretty parlor, or I think because this color variant is the grooming parlor, so the UK variant. <laughs> here you can see Actually, uh, this is curly locks. Here's my curly locks. And if I try to put a head on her, like in this picture, I already failed. Because it, 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 for some reason it's actually not really fitting her. <laughs> I don't know what they did here. Well, that's actually the other hat. It's the hat with the flowers. But, you know, you could win this version of the pretty parlor. Uh, uh, really? I mean, this is actually, I thought this is the UK variant. Maybe they then sent out the German variant, but maybe not because this is the white, uh, the one with white cat. And <laughs> this is uh, the, what you had to do to win this was actually you had to find two matching ducks. This duck is actually really what the symbol of uh, baby quackers looks like. And before start, before I started filming, I really tried, and it's not the easiest to find the matching ones. I think these are the matching ones because they have light legs and light uh, here eyes and the beak as well. The others have like dark legs or dark beak, etc. So not the easiest um, thing for some like for, for small children. Uh, here we've got the uh, advertisement for the for the uh, Dance and Prance ponies and for the newborn ponies uh, again. So we already seen that and here's another beautiful um, uh, pastel colored comic with, with 
Majesty and with an all star we've got um, we've got lemon drop posy and it's a story about a witch and North Star is uh, the hero of the story she flies there to like I don't know to defeat the witch actually this is the magic mural that that uh, Majesty has she has a magic mural she's able to see everywhere in the Ponyland in these old comics here and I don't know what they do but they defeat the witch with some with the help of some frogs and some little beings no idea <laughs> Wendy magazine advertisement and the last page and oh again we've got again the um, maybe sea pony which I think is sea star correct me if I'm wrong but I think this one's called sea star and some lovely uh, colorings of children yeah Megan and Sundance and the next magazine we are yeah we have that one so the October issue is the next one here at the front you can like I have no idea who that is <laughs> and some sheep but this is ringlets so with an S in the end so not ringlet because ringlet would be one of the rainbow curl ponies this is uh, ringlets I think the color is pretty accurate I mean her body color here it looks darker but like the hair colors are there and you can see the um, headband uh, as the symbol so let's see what's up with her in this comic she's not even in there what's that because usually uh, the first uh, the first page like all well, the cover page always then starts with uh, a comic here but no wow okay I'm surprised <laughs> uh, because this is a story about Wigwam here we've got Wigwam and about this little uh, dude here about this Native American dude Hang on. and here's the tipi and whatever they are doing I actually really like Big Bum's um, headdress like of all the boy ponies headdresses I think Big Bum's is the most intricate and the most the, the coolest just um, I'm happy enough to have Big Bum, like on his own so happy enough about that and they're having fun and having rainbow feathers in their crowns so that's what they are doing here here again the pony mommy club um, thing that you could send in and here's just a like normal story about some of the like ponies that we already know like Applejack we've got gingerbread which I can't show you uh, here we've got um, uh, trickle not tickle trickle I think uh, here she is beautiful second set rainbow pony with the uh, feathers so these are even the um, the ones that litter literary version and bow tie actually and majesty so come on majesty come into the picture again here we are <laughs> this little guy who's called gray beard and he has like he's really not the most lucky one in this um, in this little story so that's what the story is about let's see here is just an advertisement for a Disneyland magazine audio play thing you could read along to the cassette tape so that's what it was and this was actually the um, like the extra so the Thing that was in the magazine was a like iron-on transfer thing for your t-shirt which looked like this I love these things as a child like really I had some uh, from 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 other magazines like um, from Wendy yeah from from Wendy magazine I had some and I also had some from um, the Bravo <laughs> that was like a magazine about um, is I, I think they're still publishing it uh, about like music stars and, and you know all VIPs and stuff like that <laughs> and I had one with the Backstreet Boys <laughs> uh, yeah uh, lovely 
obviously I don't have that here. Here are the um, Festtax ponies, so the merry-go-round ponies again. So here you can also see their German names, which I actually never know. So our flower bouquet here is in German Wunderlein. That's, I, I have no idea that the, the translation escapes me. It's like, why, what? It's like wonder... Wonderfully, something, something like this is, would be the name. Herzblüte is actually uh, brilliant blossoms. This is brilliant blossoms. Then we've got tassels. Tassels is Fantasia, like Fantasia. And okay, this also cute name. Um, Sunny bunch is Rosi. Okay. Sometimes I don't know where they took the, the ideas for the German names, but... And in this Who Lives in Ponyland, um, like in the, on these pages, you always get a, like a small introduction of the pony. Uh, some, sometimes uh, she tells you like why she's called like this, what's her favorite things to do, stuff like that. I, I really love that. And it's, it's so cute what they do in these sceneries here. Oh, this is a complete story about uh, the... Actually, these are the um, Windy Wings. So there are two sets of these butterfly winged ponies, the wing, Windy Wings and the Summer Wings. The summer Wings, um, those ponies have more of the um, like bugs or like insects uh, symbols and the Windy Wing ponies have more like moon and stars and wind, you know, stuff like that. This, for example, here is supposed to be Moonjumper. Moonjumper was my childhood pony. Uh, I don't, as I said, I've, I have none of the um, Windy Wing and Summer Wing ponies. Uh, it's, the cutie mark actually is a, a cow that jumps over the moon. So, <laughs> uh, This is Wings, is it? I, I think Starry Wings. Um, and the pink one here is Sun Glider. I have to think about these names very carefully because I don't own these ponies. I'm not that good. Starry Wings and Sun Glider are the main um, are the main ponies in this comic, and these colors are so beautiful. It's like here they visit the man in the moon, and the man in the moon has a kind of problem because all these zodiacs are like away from the night sky because this little dude like it catches them all and brings them to his or her. Um, strange planet of darkness. Um, uh, this is actually a sparkle pony. I don't have this. This is Twinkler. By the way, not the uh, with her sister Twinkler. It's a different one. I can only show you Sunspot from this pony set. They have like completely um, like like sparkling body bodies like they are like the sparkle is inside the vinyl and they are a little bit see-through my sad spots in really bad condition doesn't even have a tail <laughs> I really need to do something about you I always forget about this one I have it for a really long time already uh, but this is one of those ponies you can you can see a little bit that it's meant to be sparkling so beautiful look at this planetary like this this pink planet here this is the planet of darkness where all the zodiacs get um, like imprisoned and yeah they, they are rescuing them again this is uh, sun glider and this is starry wings so cute oh here we've got the uh, sweet berry ponies the sweet berry ponies again lovely with their with their counterparts their real counterparts and whereas I think I don't know if these are real vegetables uh, not vegetables but these are real fruits here um, but you could win them in German actually they're called tutti frutti ponies so not berry or bean ponies or something but tutti frutti ponies oh here we've got another like two different advertisements we've already seen the um, the, the merry-go-round ponies a lot, so I don't get them in the picture again, but here's another beautiful advertisement for them. Again, for the four ponies that were released in Europe. Two of them, like two of the six pony sets never made it here. This is actually a new set that I haven't like um, talked about today. This is the set of the 
uh, adventure baby ponies. It's a matched up set of the um, of the fancy pants baby ponies. Do we have one here? Yeah. For example, these. They have the like painted on diapers, um, and mixed together with the um, playtime baby brother ponies, which are like baby pony versions of like the male ponies. So um, yeah. In Europe, they mesh them together, only two boy ponies and four of the Fancy Pants babies. And they are called Amtreuer Baby Ponies. So lovely with these building blocks here. And they came with all these different like accessories here, these ducks and these xylophones and you know. Let's get to the next uh, comic, which is so cute. It's about Milky Way. Let's get Milky Way here. And today I actually took out my, um, like my US, USA Milky Way, you could say, not the Euro one because it has got sparkly uh, um, stars. And what's the other pony? The other pony is Baby North Star. So here we've got Baby North Star, one of the, uh, one of the uh, first tooth baby ponies, yes. And this is actually what I, I mean. I have I have said this, but this is what I imagined my ponies when I was a child like to do and to be high up in the sky, in the clouds, uh, having like to do with you know with uh, with stars and, and and like living in the sky because I called them um, Himmel's ponies when I was a child, so sky ponies. I didn't know that they are called My Little Pony or My Kleines Pony. This is a story where they, I have actually no idea what they do, it's pretty crazy with these stars that help them and this wizard here and this like stream of, of super bold stars here. It's just like, look, look, look at this, just have a look how beautiful does this coloring look. I just freaking love this. Look, look, just, just have a look at this picture. Planets, stars, twinkling stars. Here we've got the planetary um, like surface. These beautiful ponies. And actually, interesting that, that Milky Way is up in the sky and she needs the cloud to fly because she's not, not a uni uh, she's unicorn, but I mean, she, she's not a um, Pegasus pony. And uh, North Star, baby North Star he is, of course, a Pegasus. And, oh, wow, oh, that's the last page. That's actually crazy because I think there's a page missing, probably, because this magazine also is, in, is not in a good condition. Because the Pony Mummy Club just starts here and actually it's always two pages. And on the last page we see the, um, like the outlook for the next magazine, but we don't need that because we have the next magazine. Here it is. Um, it's again not in a very good condition. It starts here again with the um, Big Brother Ponies. Actually, we've got Steamer, Chief, and well, this is Force Speed. Force Speed is actually one that wasn't released in Europe. Or, I mean, maybe, but definitely not in Germany. Um, and here we've got Barnacle. Barnacle with this cool pirate hat, which also like. Well, of course, I don't have it, but I have Barnacle himself. He is such a handsome dude. And actually, the other ponies that you can see here are from the um, from the ice cream pony set. So the S ponies. I I don't have any of those. This is I think this is Coco Berry. This is Crunch Berry, and this is Swirly Whirly. I have none of those. I just have other ponies. They're also a set of scented ponies and okay today is the day of the uh, lullaby nursery nursery because here the lullaby nursery is again and i think barnacle invites all of the ponies um, to have a pirate party because they all turn up like styled like 
like pirates. That's actually pretty cute. Even baby Lucky and um, baby Quakers. So the pon Pony Mummy Club thing again. And okay, here is the set that I just um, talked about in the last magazine. The um, Toya baby ponies, so the I don't know adventure baby ponies. I don't know if they were called like this in English because, like as I said, in America they were never released in this set. They were uh, the fancy pants baby ponies, all girl ponies with these um, diapers, with baby dots and hearts. We've got um, the only boy pony that I have, baby drummer here. They came also with these handkerchiefs, very cute. And yeah, as I said, a mashed up set over in Europe with just two of the boys and four of the girls. Interesting for um, baby, baby uh, Schwimmer in German or baby Splash, uh, or Splashy, no, I think Splash uh, in English. She also came out in two different versions. So one, as we can see here with um, the fading pink hair and the US version would have just purple hair. Um, anyways, we also have ponies uh, variants here with like long streaks, like these these colored streaks, and some have just the short ones. And for some ponies, that also makes a difference if they were produced in Taiwan or in China, because the ones that I have are in China produced. Yeah, all of them. I think um, some other variants that have like. Then I think, for example, this one with a short streak would be the one produced in Taiwan. But I can also mix that up. Uh, but a very cute pony set. My favorite advertisement for the Dancing Prince ponies and the newborns. And here's actually another very beautiful uh, story, like with Moonstone, actually. Moonstone is a pretty early pony. Uh, from the first Rainbow Pony set. Here we have her. Uh, this is actually the German Moonstone. She's not that different to, to uh, like, for example, this is the US Moonstone. Um, but you can see this one has glittery symbols. She has like, I, I know, I, never, I didn't do a very good job with restoring her. She was missing a foot and um, I never cut the tail that I did. Um, but maybe you've heard of the German um, rainbow ponies where like we have uh, night lights, Nachtlicht, or Regentropfen, raindrop, those very, very thought after special ponies that were just released in, um, in Germany. Um, this moonstone is also from this set. So it's the German moonstone, but she's not that thought after because she looks pretty similar to uh, the other one, and this is also not an Italy moonstone. So there's also an Italy moonstone with normal painted symbols. These are a little bit metallic. Anyways, let's have a look uh, at the story. This moonstone looks so sleepy on her, like, what is it actually? Like, it's a bed of, of like, moss, probably, and she can fly with it. Honestly, I did not read through that comic, so I have no idea what's going on, <laughs> but it's very cute. And she's helping these little fairies. Just a little story with baby Gusty. Some of the um, baby, the newborn twins. And these are actually the ones that I have. So these are Speckles and Bunky. Maybe you remember them from one of my last unboxings. Um, <laughs> Their, col uh, their colors look very different to their actually to the actual counterparts here, but uh, you can see it from the symbols with these safety pins here. So the newborns are like lovely. These are also two of the newborns, and I cannot tell you the name by the heck of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's a story about two of the baby sea ponies, or oh, actually seashell. Uh, it's, it's a beachy story again. I don't have seashells. She's one of the sitting ponies. Um, and here we've got Glory and, uh, and an ugly sea monster and Sparkler. 
and pinwheel. I mean, I, can, I can't even show you any of those ponies. I can show you. I can at least show you bow tie again. Don't you think the ponies look so cute when, when, when I put some of these uh, barrettes in them? Uh, they are not pony, these, these hair clips, but I love it when I put them in. I don't know. <laughs> it's a story about sea creatures and the wind and the clouds helping to defeat this monster and yeah, then, then the clouds get get ribbons and flowers and everything and the dolphin helps them so oh my goodness the story even continues with these horrible creatures here that's is that the end probably in the next magazine it continues here is ah uh, we've got this uh, advertisement again with um, with sweet clover and rosette and look at those cuties here these are the baby pony and pretty pals. I love them because you know they consist of a baby pony and a like pony friend. Um, Fleecy and Wooly were my childhood ponies. I'm so happy to have them again. Uh, honestly, the picture here is really, really pink, so they are not as pink, obviously. And then I also have um, baby pockets and Hoppy. So I'm also like so happy to already have two of these sets. Here you can see that we also have this panda bear and this little lamb. They are incredibly sought after and expensive, although they are not really rare because they were released in Europe. So as you can see, you, I had them as a child. And they came with all sorts of accessories, for example, with this um, buggy or stroller thing here and with these building like what are these stack toys and i'm pretty sure at some point i will have the others the ones i got were pretty okay price wise you can never beat those two that i got together for 15 euro <laughs> that was an ebay auction guys look out for ebay auctions yeah such a cute pony set Oh, here in this magazine you could actually win a show stable or some of the newborn ponies. Who is that meant to be? This is a twinkle eye pony as we can see. Schlüsselblume. I think it's Locket. I mean that, that makes sense with these with these keys here. That's that's Locket. I don't have that pony. But it's one of the second set twinkle eye ponies. Yeah. Or is it even? Maybe it was even already in the first set. Oh, and here is another story about the Apple Delight family. So let's get them out again. Daddy Apple Delight and Mommy Apple Delight. And I just have Sister Apple Delight here in the wrong hair color. <laughs> I always have to point that out. And the other pony here is Hopscotch again. We had Hopscotch in the beginning of this video and now we have her in the end. So here she looks again, not really, they, they all look of color wise but I have to say I really like how they colored her with this nice pastel hair because I personally don't like hopscotch's color like with this dark hair so much um, but yeah they are amazing these ponies and hopscotch even draws a hopscotch in the sand so they all have a lovely playtime together, the whole family and hopscotch. And I guess this is another magazine where the last page is no, the last page is here, but I think the I think this is just part of the pony uh, mummy club thing that we have in the end always. Because yeah, this is like I'm super sad that we can't see more of this. This was something where a child could win to be the pony ballerina. Um, she had to send in a story that, that that was her story, still typed with a what is what is it, typing machine, um, and she won the first prize. That was that meant that she would be dressed up as a ballerina, like 
she went to a photo studio and had a shooting with her pony prizes. You can see some of her pony prizes. It's the Lullaby Nursery. She got um, she got a bouquet and main sail and a pony dream beauty. I don't know, can you can you even see that a little bit? Here you can see that also she got a dream beauty. The dream beauties are actually my little ponies. Um, that are more like Barbie horses, size-wise, and also from from the type of plastic that was used. Um, I can't, can't. They are really, really expensive, so I cannot show you any of them. But she apparently she won one of them, and she won this this like photo shooting, and also she won uh, to be part of a, a ballerina school. So like, wow, what they did for 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 the children. That were a fan of My Little Pony back then. I mean, that's amazing. That's so great, and I bet she has great memories of that. Yeah, this is the last page because this would be the next issue would be the Christmas issue. I don't have that one. Uh, I have some other Christmas issues, but uh, I don't want to have Christmas right now. So I'm happy that we have spring. But yeah, so again, another Windy Wing Pony, and. That's it. That's it. I hope you had fun uh, with this uh, nostalgic look through these old G1 My Little Pony magazines. I had so much fun with these. There were so many beautiful ponies and oh my goodness, the summer wings and windy wings, all the stuff that was like high up in the sky, Milky Way. Sorry, I, I really loved those issues. So I hope you also had fun. Uh, thank you for watching. See you real soon and May the force be with you. Bye.